The Ubuntu Touch Developer Preview was released to the public last week. I'm Taylor Martin, this is Pocket Now, and this is the Ubuntu Touch Developer Preview versus iOS. You might be asking why we're comparing Ubuntu for phones with iOS, and that's a legitimate question. I've been using iOS and Ubuntu side by side, not extensively, but side by side for a couple of days now, and it's very clear that these operating systems are complete, total opposites. It was apparent after just using the two side by side for just a couple of minutes. Virtually everything within these operating systems is completely and totally different. The home screens, the applications, and how visually stimulating each one of them is. For one, Canonical is all about open source and keeping everything open, and Apple is all about having the walled garden and making sure that everything is safe. So there's some core differences that come into play here but even visually on a graphical standpoint these two operating systems are complete total opposites the differences really begin to show when you press the power button. iOS's lock screen has basically become a utility. Notifications can be slid to unlock, or you can drag upwards to open directly to the camera. Ubuntu's lock screen isn't a lock screen, it's a welcome screen, and it displays notifications, but that's about it. After you get past these pages, that's where the differences really begin to stack up. Ubuntu is all about content at your fingertips. Everything is out in the open. Your contacts, your favorite applications, music, videos, and pretty much everything else is all right there, ready to be consumed without having to dig into applications. iOS is a complete 180 from that. Everything is buried within applications. You can rearrange everything on your home screen, set wallpapers, and you have folders that you can set. Other than that, the customization options are pretty slim. However, if you want to access any sort of information, you have to open the applications. There's no way to get information directly on the home screen. One major contrast between these two operating systems is how you navigate them. On Ubuntu, everything is accessed through a swipe, either from the left, right, top or bottom of the display, you access your recent applications, settings, notifications, or you go back a page. With iOS, you have one swipe down from the top of the display to access notifications, and everything else is done through either on-screen buttons or the physical button at the bottom of the device. Gestures in Ubuntu are very, very fast. You can navigate very quickly. However, there's a learning curve, and there are so many gestures that sometimes it gets a little clunky. You try to swipe from one edge to the display to the other, but you accidentally do something that you didn't want to do. With iOS, there's really no way to mess up. It's click the home button and you go home. Click it twice, you can switch applications. Hold it, open Siri, or drag down from the top of the display to access your notifications. And the on-screen buttons are very straightforward as they tell you what to do. That's pretty much it. Granted, one area that Ubuntu excels is switching applications. Simply swipe from the right side of the display leftwards and you go back to the previous application. On iOS, to go back to the previous application, you have to double click the home button and then select the application. So it's three clicks. By the time you do that on Ubuntu, you could have switched three, four, or five applications. It's just that fast. And on iOS, there's no quick way to access your favorite applications without going back to the home screen. On Ubuntu, slightly pull from the left side of the display and it will reveal a launcher with all your favorite applications. Swipe the rest of the way across and you will go back home. Although there is a learning curve, once you learn it, it is very quick. One thing I found very surprising is how Ubuntu's camera stores more features than the iOS camera even at a developer preview level. They're not working features just yet, but they're there and you can see them. Simply slide up from the bottom of the display in the camera application and you will see features for white balance and all sorts of other settings you can toggle while in the camera application for iOS, all you have is the option to turn on and off a grid, HDR mode, flash, and switch to the front camera, rear camera, or to video mode. Another major difference is how you search for content on the operating system. Within iOS, simply slide left from your main home screen and you will go to the spotlight feature where you have a universal search for anything local or you can perform a web search using your default search engine. The search button in the top left corner of the Ubuntu interface is relative to what page you're on. If you're at the home screen, the search button does nothing. If you're on the people tab, it searches people. If you're on the video tab, it searches videos. If you're on the music tab, music, and so on and so forth. There is no universal search. You have to navigate to different places to search for different things. But not everything is totally different. The dialer, much like with Android, is very similar to the Ubuntu dialer. You have contacts, recent activity, and the dialer built into a single application. The notification shade on iOS is a little different than the one on Ubuntu. The Ubuntu notification shade has a lot more features packed in it. You can respond to text messages, Skype messages, and anything from within the shade, and you can toggle your battery, brightness, anything from within the shade. But the idea is basically the same. Pull down from the top of the display to access all of your recent messages. 
From the way that the contacts are displayed in Ubuntu to the home screen, everything is visually stimulating. And iOS is sort of the opposite of that. It used to be visually stimulating, but it hasn't been updated in a long time, and it's starting to look a little stale. The settings page is very ugly and dated, and it's just not very pleasing to the eye anymore, whereas everything on Ubuntu is kind of modern and has that webOS appeal. It's lightweight and very friendly looking. Neither of these things mean that one is better than the other. Ubuntu is very early in its development phase and iOS is a little more weathered, but it's surprising how different these two operating systems truly are. This has been a comparison of Ubuntu Touch and iOS. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up if you like what you saw, subscribe to the channel, and follow us on your social networks of choice. I'm Taylor Martin and I will see you next time.